Greetings fellow humans, Pat Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a keycap set from the company KeyTalk. Now I previously took a look at their Morse code keycaps which I reviewed um, from KeepMonkey and I actually did a build and it's kind of in the middle. I added them to a drop enter. Um, I'm in the process of hot uh, or desoldering it and making it a hot sop with Milmax um, and I was going to turn it into kind of because it's an olive green with the Morse code I'm planning on turning it into a, like a camouflage kind of war machine keyboard like a for the field kind of thing but it's a project that's kind of just been stashed away for a moment things have been real busy um, uh, today we're taking a look at this key talk keycap set this one is in the KDA profile and it is called symphony um, it's a very clean looking keycap set pick off the cover because of the glare now if I do recall uh, the Morse code keycap set I want to say that was an OEM profile but it did come pretty well kitted for a number of keyboards. So first things first, let's see what kind of kitting we have here. The color on these, I wanna see, is kind of like an ivory, more of like a uh, retro white, uh, the beige. But we do have uh, a couple of space bars. Well, it does look like we have a seven, um, seven U space bar. That might actually, and that seems to be a space bar spare of the same size. Uh, we have, looks like we have an escape key for if we're using a 65%. We have numpad with the big zero and with the smaller zero. We have split space bars uh, for Alice, though I don't see an extra B. Uh, we do have the uh, shorter shift, uh, the 1.75 and the, I think that's 2.25. Um, and it looks like we also have for the split back backspace as well as for to sing in bottom row at least we have alt and control and the win would be the singular ones here so we're pretty well kitted they do come in uh, three separate trays which is nice uh, they each have their own lid okay, and they actually include some nice layers of PE foam in case we want a PE foam modern keyboard. All right, first things first, let's measure these keycaps. Now they're actually kind of similar to Cherry, just a tiny bit taller and a lot more sculpted. Ooh, and these are die sub PBT. They have a nice texture to them, a real nice texture. All right, let's see how thick they are. Wow. 1.6 millimeters, that is nice. Um, the Morse code were a blend, if I'm not mistaken, a PBT and PC, uh, because it's kind of like a, a wrap around, like one, one side and the top is, uh, I wanna say it's PBT, with um, basically negatives with the PC below and making up the rest of the body so the light can shine through from the uh, through the letters. So it's kind of like a shine through, but it, they were a lot thicker. I don't think they were 1.6 millimeters, but these are definitely nice and thick. I'm still not sure. Yeah, it's definitely an ivory white. It's an off white, but not by that much. It's, it's a white that I think would work well uh, in either a retro beige, kind of older, you know, e-white retro, and just a regular white. I think it would work on both of them. I'm taking a quick look at the legends, Hmm. I gotta say, I mean, I don't understand sometimes when things like this happen. Because the one thing that stands out to me, first and foremost, is the escape key. The escape key is in all caps. But if I look at any of the other modifier keys, they're in standard font. Or they're, they're in standard case, you know uppercase for the first letter or the first letter of the word and then normal case for the rest uh, or lower case. So I don't understand why this one has to stand out that much. Um, is it because it's short 
I mean, Win is short for Windows. This is short for Escape, but that's uh, eh. that's a little niggle. I don't think that's that big of an issue, but it's something that just jumps out to me immediately. Now, the Legends, for the most part, are nice. Uh, they are bigger than your average Legend, but not by much. I would like, personally, my preference is to see them bigger. I feel that when they're up in the corner like that and there's no sub-legends uh, like Haranga or different language, um, that they're kind of scared. Like They're up in the corner and they're a little scared. Why don't you take up some more of the keycap space there, buddy? You got some room to grow. But they aren't, like I said, they are bigger for the most part than a lot of other keycap sets, so I do like that. Um, with the thickness of this keycap set and the profile, I mean, this is the, uh, this, uh, it's very similar to a cherry height, but it is quite sculpted, which I don't, it's just got a really nice texture to them. I can't quite, I mean, I guess it's just PBT and I've felt other PBT keycaps like it, but they feel nice. They're not slippery. They, it's like they're attracted to my fingerprints. I don't know. <laughs> like it makes my fingerprints feel like they're, you know, a little bit reptilian and they're just sticking to it. Obviously it's not going to just stick to my finger, but it, it feels very nice. So today I'm going to be testing, um, the uh, Symphony key, key Talk keycaps in the KDA profile on a modified GAS 67. And I'm running some, and I have some Otemu Laney switches loaded. As you can see, they have palm top and bottom housings, a PA12 long pull stem. They're 22 millimeter spring that's a 50 gram spring though it starts out at 35 grams initially and actuates at 40 grams and they also have a light diffuser so we're going to go ahead and load up Keytok symphony on the, the uh, gas 67 with the otemulanes and then we'll do a sound test to see what it sounds like so here we are all loaded up with the gas 67 uh, remember it is modded with three layers of tempest tape mod and a PET sheet of four mils. That's a, that's it, and it has the stand the stock screw and stabilizers that have been lubricated. And we have the Otemu Laney switches, the ones with the blue stem. So they're a palm switch, a linear switch with a light actuation. And we have Keytalk Symphony, Ivory Symphony. Now, this keycap set is available from Keytalk's website, which is keytalk.com. I will be placing a link to these below. Um, these are $34 for this set. Now, when thinking about, when considering the prices of some keycap sets out there, and this is coming from their own company, I mean, they're, everything is in-house. Um, the quality that I've encountered overall because this is not the only keycap set this isn't the only keycap set they sent me i have a few more uh, videos coming out but even from the key talk set or even from the morse code set the first time that i ever saw their keycaps i could tell that there was just a little bit more thought put into them they're of high quality i'm still kind of i'm, I'm just curious and i'm going to ask because i'm going to reach back out to them and i'm going to you know obviously let them know about the videos and see what they think but for the price 1.6 millimeter thick keycaps that have a nice clean um, legends that sound lovely and look lovely as well and are well kitted for most layouts um, from a 60 percent all the way up to a full-size keyboard you're going to have the keys that you need um, you may and you even have split space bars the only thing that i did not see was an extra b for an alice um, keyboard but i mean those are you know a little rare also not included in these but i don't know if they do or don't have iso sets that would have the iso keys but i've got to say that just on initial impressions i mean this is a gas 67 i got this i want to say for the $35 range. I've seen them as low as $25. Uh, and I mean, they're a little 
dated. I don't. I hate to say that dated because they're still a nice keyboard. They're good if all you need is a wired 65%. Um, it sounds pretty good stock and it takes very minimal effort to mod it. And um, I've just, but I've been fond of all the CIY boards. I, I have quite a few of them and I've never been like, meh. I, I've liked them all. So I'm also a big fan of the nice clean look that these give off. Um, there's just nothing, there's something to be said about, you know, a white on black, a black on white, just the simple. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love colors and life is all about colors, but sometimes that nice simplicity, um, just bringing it back to the basics um, can be aesthetically pleasing as well at least for me anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test i'd love to hear what you guys think of these uh, i always love to get conversation started uh, drop me a comment down below let's get it going i do hope that you guys enjoy it until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on <laughs>